that 1000, that's okay. yeah. Yeah, 1647, so that's for the other sensor. Right, so today's challenge is the upstream O2 sensors on 2003 S-Type R. It's only, uh, only on one side, but the recommendation is to change both, change a pair of upstreams. So these were the Denso ones. I think they were about £80 each, weren't they? So general plan is car off on the ramps. Yeah, and wait till the exhausts have cooled off a bit so that we can actually uh, remove the sensors. Perfect. So you're going to take the splash guard off completely. Yeah, you could probably get to it without taking the guard off. But yeah. But this this is the R version. Um, so on the near side cat, you don't have the oil filter in the way like you do on the three liter version. Because the oil filter is at the front of the engine. All right, so this is the replacement. Right, okay. So this is fairly cool now. So there's a bracket here, which the connector is mounted to, so remove that, which I think is an 8mm. Okay, put that away. Take the bracket off. So there's a black connector and a grey connector. Yeah. We're removing the upstream sensor, so we want the grey connector. Yep. So just depress that clip. Take that off. Then remove, remove the connector from the the bracket itself. There we go. So you can use a spanner. We've got a removal tool here, which is which is 22, isn't it? 22 mm, yeah. Get that on there, snug. That's it. Okay. Just breaking that joint <coughs> is, the, is the worst bit. Once it's broken, it's fine. Yeah, I think the, the tool we've got is actually just slightly bigger than 22 mils, so when you put a lot of strain on it, it actually jams on the sensor. Right, so that's the old one out. Remove that. Screw that back in, and then a 22 mil. Smell that. Nice and tight. Then we put this back on here. Bring it back in. Line up the tag tab on the bracket. Jobs are good. So the faults are cleared.